oh, there's so much needs to be changed, Martin, Karen, you know. Um, like, she comes back to me sometimes after meeting with, you know, people that are really supposed to be helping her. And she said to me, oh, my God, ma'am, maybe I shouldn't have said this about Paul or say that about Paul. I said, you have to tell the truth because sometimes she come away from these meetings feeling like that, God, maybe she shouldn't have said these things about the, the reality that she's going through. And she's made to feel like sometimes she should almost apologize for telling the truth. I think that's a shame in our state yeah. in today, in 2022. Well, it sounds like uh, as a parent of a child with severe autism that you feel forgotten about, that you feel yeah. unheard. What are the services that are available to you or, or what's not available to you? What is the current status in terms of, are you getting what you need? Well. The only way I can put it is, on paper, it sounds like we are receiving services, but we're not, Karen. They're non-existent. The whole system needs to change and be reformed. And that's why I'm speaking out about this. Um, you know, I mean, there's only so much talk that I can do. And um, the services that we are receiving are certainly not adequate enough, not for a child like mine, who would have very complex needs. And a woman I spoke to very recently, she actually has an adult son, but he would be very like Paul. And she said to me that we are like a minority in a minority. Right. Now, what I'm trying to say is there's a hugely broad spectrum of autism. And listen, I'm not for one second saying that anyone who has a diagnosis with autism do not have challenges mm -hmm. and do not, like they need services too. I 100% agree. But I, what I would say is that for someone like Paul who urgently needs help now, now is the time, he's five, um, we're forgotten about. It almost seems like the more severe that, that your, your child is, the more you're forgotten about and the more, less that people care. That's what it feels like. Like he needs speech and language, he needs yes. OT, but he needs, he needs it. it on a continuous basis, not yeah. just a batch of six and then we'll mm. see you again in six months. No, and he will, listen Martin, he will probably need this for the rest of his life. So it's no good in meeting with professionals once every couple of months. That's not going to help Paul. Yeah. He needs someone one-on-one -on -one with him on a regular basis. And many other children out there need that too in order for them to progress. And as I've said a while ago, Paul has an intelligence. And if we can just get in there and unlock that, I'm not a therapist. I can only do the best I can. I'm his mother, I love him, but I'm not qualified in this. You've you know. been an amazing uh, vocal advocate since you've spoken out publicly, which was, you know, a very intimidating thing to do to, you know, uh, make your family vulnerable in this way by yeah. bringing attention to, to what you're going through. Yeah. Has anyone from the HSE reached out to you? Well, <sighs> not sure. No. no, if no. I'm being honest, no. nobody from the HSE no. has reached out to me and I have been very vocal about this. Um, I, just last night, I did have a very positive meeting with um, Minister Anne Rabit and I will say that she did listen to me speak and she did give me um, reassurance that she wants to help and she also wants to see the system change. Now, um, I did, at my request, request with her a meeting with herself and the other relevant ministers, and I want our Taoiseach, Micheál Martin, to meet with me um, to discuss the, the, the concerns, the real concerns that we as parents have for our children and that the whole system needs to be changed and, um, and Minister, I should say Minister Rabid, she agreed with me, but I want this change to happen. I don't want any more talk. There's enough talk being done we now. Need action. And we need action okay. now. And if I could just add that Dervla, you know, it, this is not about Paul anymore. It started out about Paul, yes. but it's about all the children and it's about all people with autism yeah. because early intervention is vital for all the children.